Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News. Your morning news update for this throwback Thursday, August the 6th. Uh, on the go, RCMP investigating a stabbing that happened at Killers Cove Marina in Harrison. Uh, we don't have too many uh, details as of yet. Still waiting for RCMP to uh, give us some more on that. Harrison Lake Fire, it is uh, for the most part being contained. It's not expanding much. It's still at 12 hectares, which is a good thing. Plus, we are expecting some rain today, uh, so that is going to help as well. RCMP investigating a collision between a uh, boat and an indigenous canoe on Cultus Lake. A 67-year-old Langley man has been charged for endangerment. As well, uh, responsible drinking at a couple of Chilliwack parks and not getting a nice ride on social media. That has just been blowing up. Uh, Fraser Valley Bandits defeating Guelph yesterday at the Summer Series of the CEBL in St. Catharines. They move on to semifinal Saturday. They win there. They go to the final on Sunday. We should have some more information on that youth recovery center that has been so controversial over the last couple of years uh, being built uh, on uh, where Yale comes off the freeway, off Highway 1, and literally within eye shot of the Molson Coors new brewery. So we should have some more information on that on FBN a little bit later on this morning. Uh, it could be a little bit on the muggy side this afternoon. It is a cool down to around 20, 21 degrees. So your air conditioning doesn't need to be turned on today. The weekend, that's a different story. If there's something we should know about, FBN at Shaw.ca. FBN at Shaw.ca. And coming up at 5 o'clock this afternoon over on our uh, sister station, Chill TV, on the YouTube channel, uh, News of the Week, the news magazine at 5, and then at 8 o'clock, Chill and Chat with uh, Jenny and crew. Have yourself a great day. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.